My name is Elizabeth Muller. I am the CEO and co-founder of Deep Isolation. I grew up in California. I grew up going backpacking and loving the nature and um, always just wanting to protect the environment. It's something that I care about deeply. So I believe if we are really going to address climate change, we need a large number of solutions. Nuclear has to be part of that equation, but nuclear has a challenge associated with it, and that's the unsolved nuclear waste problem. That's what deep isolation is addressing. We are allowing for the disposal of nuclear waste to happen in a reasonable time frame so that there can be a future for the nuclear industry. My name is Richard Muller. I'm the Chief Technology Officer and co-founder of Deep Isolation. The nuclear waste problem is one that's held back the whole nuclear industry. And we are stuck in the United States with thinking that stopped in the 1970s, early 1980s. There are innovations that can be used to make not only a solution that is safer, but also one that is so evidently safe uh, that the public recognizes that it will really work. The drilling industry has learned how to do directional drilling. This, this enables us to put waste deep underground the nuclear people thought, you can't put it in more holes. You have to be able to pull it out. So we did a demonstration in Cameron, Texas. We put a package, didn't have any radioactivity into it, deep down into a bore hole, and then pulled it up. And the nuclear industry was blown away. Whether there's a new nuclear renaissance, it doesn't really matter. You still have to deal with the spent fuel. The only solution is geological storage. This may be a very good solution, a very inexpensive, and also, most importantly, maybe the safest way of disposing with spent fuel. Deep isolation seems to be, to be a very ingenious and potentially effective way of dealing with waste. The government and even the nuclear industry have typically said, we're going to figure out what the right solution is, and then we're going to convince everybody that this is the best solution. Instead, what really needs to be done is you need to listen to the people who are going to be impacted by any sort of disposal solution before you figure out what you're going to do. This is the way that we are going to be able to move forward with the communities and the environmental groups and the other stakeholders who are already being impacted by nuclear waste. Deep isolation has world-leading scientific leadership behind it, but my perspective is on how you get these projects done. And I've been extremely impressed with the approach that Liz and the entire organization has been taking in developing uh, partnerships and relationships that bring credibility both to the industry as well as the communities in which these facilities are going to be developed. Nuclear waste is a global challenge. Deep Isolation is already working across three continents to bring solutions to the governments that are interested in, in nuclear waste disposal. And we are going to do everything we can to put nuclear waste where it belongs, which is deep underground.